This video is a tutorial on how to create a DVR on an inexpensive Android TV device. I am using an antenna on my roof to bring in about 45 stations, I do believe. And this device here is going to create a DVR using this inexpensive device. What I'm showing you right now is the interface of the DVR guide data. And you can see it goes up to 14 days of guide data for all these 45 channels. This is an easy, inexpensive way to grab all the TV stations from over the air so that you can cut the cord from the expensive cable box. Keep watching, I'll show you how it's done. Using this HD Home Run Tuner and using this Android TV box, we're going to create a standalone DVR. This tuner uses the over-the-air antenna or rabbit ears to bring in your TV signal. Everything will be run on this little micro SD card. This card will contain the operating system, which is Core ELEC, C-O-R-E-E-L-E-C. -E -E that is a Linux-based operating system that they have created. So that's what we will be using right there. Okay, let's go connect it to the TV and show you how to set up the DVR using TV Head In Server. One note of interest, these Chinese companies, they mix and match hardware when they put into these boxes. It has been reported by some users of this particular device that their gigabit Ethernet does not work. So just be cautious when you purchase these boxes because you're really not sure of what components are going to be in there. Okay, now that I've showed you what it looks like, let's get down to the nitty-gritty and see how to set it up. First thing we have to do is download the file. So we're going to use the Nightly right here. Okay, then we go to, we want the generic right there. So we'll go ahead and click that and download it. Okay, now that we've downloaded it, we're going to open up the app Etcher. We're going to flash from file. There's our file we just downloaded. We open that. We select our target and we're going to use there. Okay, I have, I have the micro SD card inserted into a reader. Select that. Now we're going to flash it. Okay, it's flashing right now. Okay, Etcher has created an operating system on that micro SD card and it is Core ELEC. Now we have to select the device tree that we're going to use for this particular box. Here's the, all the available device trees for all kinds of different hardware that the developers from Core ELEC have created. So we're looking for the one for X4 right there. So you got one, two, three. So we're going to pick this one right here. So we're going to click that one and copy it. We go back to here. We paste it here. Now we have to rename it. So we're going to change the name to DTB.IMG. And delete that there and click enter okay that's all there is to it right there for this part of the uh, tutorial right here okay I've inserted the micro SD card into the box held the reset button and powered on and now it is booting up okay it has just went into the main screen Now we have to install the drivers for the HD Home Run Tuners. So this is what I'm doing right now. Next thing we have to do is set up the TV head in server. So that's where it's located right there. And we'll go ahead and click install and install it. 
This is the information screen on the device itself, but the main thing we need is the network address, and it's 192.68.10.6. We need that information. Okay, here's what we're going to be using right here. And this is by Edit Forever created these. So that's what we're going to use right there. So we'll go ahead and download that. Okay, here is the address that I created on a shortcut on my desktop on my Windows 10. And this is the folders that's inside that micro SD card running on that box. So we're going to copy this here into the download folder. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste it into there. So now it's already in that box. So we're going to open it up. have to open it up. Then we paste it. Okay, there it is there. Now that's what we're going to need to create our uh, guide data in TV head end. Okay, I installed the Zap to it add-on to give us our guide data. Okay, we're going to open up this Zap to it add-on and do some configuration. So right on this initial screen, we have to set up our zip code and set it for the over-the-air antenna channels. So that's what we're doing right now. This is where we select our channel list that we want to uh, download the guide data for. So this is our list right here. And I think I have about 45 channels. So that's what it's doing right now, selecting the channels I want. Now we're back to the main setup screen using our Windows computer. And again, we just had to type in the uh, IP address of our box that's running the TV head in server. So these are some of the basic settings that you go through when you first initialize it. So that's what we're doing right now. This is just the setup screen where you have to set up the tuners. It went ahead and found the tuners that I have and this shows you how to set them up. It's a very basic setup procedure. So that's what it's doing right there. This is where it starts scanning the tuners to see what kind of channels that it does receive. So that's what it's doing right now. And it's scanning all the tuners for channels to be found. The scan has completed. On to the next step. This is where it generates the tags. So that's the setting to generate the tag. Okay, as soon as it finished, it grabbed the uh, information, the guide data from over the air. The zap to it has not kicked in yet, so this is strictly over-the-air data that you get. So that's what it's showing right there. Here's more of the initial setup from the very beginning. Very easy to set up there. This is the screen where you can either add or delete some tuners that you want to use. So that's the screen right there.
This is the PVR setup screen right here. Not much to it. This is where you could add the 14 days of guide data in the settings. So that's the setting right there. We're back to the Windows setup screen for TV head in server. And now if you notice now, the Zap to it add on has been added. This setting right here is where we can delete or remove the channels that we do not want to watch. So this is the screen that we do that on. Now back to the box. This is the setting where we can set the amount of uh, days for guide data. So we're going to set it to uh, 14 days of guide data. So this is a screen you'd use right here, and this is on the Android TV box. Now we click on that to scrape the uh, guide data. So it will pull in the guide data. The Zap to it add-on has finished scraping the data, and this is what it found. Here is the finished product, and there it is. 14 days of guide data. So that's all the information that that zap to it add-on was able to scrape. So it's got 14 days of guide data. So very easy to set up and very easy to install. So this makes that device a one device do-it-all DVR and player. Okay, this is the video playing in the background. I hope this helped you uh, if you have any problems installing the TV head in DVR. It's very easy to do using Core ELEC. -E Thank you for watching.